Welcome to a windy day at Utopia Farms. A little bit warmer though. Let's step inside and see what's going on in here today. So here we are in the coveralls. At the mineral feeder we got Kevin and Karen and Annie and Crookie. Hi, Crookie. Hi. You're doing pretty good. Hi, Annie. Hi. Hi, you guys. Oh, you're the nice little guys, aren't you? You guys are all nice. There you are. Oh, Kevin. Have you been eating too much? We just put a bunch of straw out in the back pens again. And now uh, the hay was a bit coarse, a lot of stalks in the last bale. Alfalfa, that's the only problem with alfalfa. And because these girls are all milking and raising lambs right now, we want to make sure they have good hay. So uh, he's going to try roll out a bale of hay on top of the existing hay. He might toss some of it out for bedding if it's too difficult. He threw some he threw some straw. Threw some hay. They look a lot happier now, the sheep. The two lambs in this group that lost their mom. We marked them, that's one. And I did find the boy too, and both of them are taking a bottle. So usually that can be a real struggle, getting an older lamb to take a bottle, but they are, so um, they don't run up to me yet, but uh, shortly they'll run up to me too. There's Hunchy, she sees me. Hi Hunchy! Hi. Ah. Hi. I can see you, okay? Oh, there's the other one. The red mark's on her right, right in front of Hunchy. So. And the male, the male's doesn't look like he's missed a beat, but I've seen him stealing. The female is a, a little poorer shape, but she'll be fine. How heavy is it? How heavy is it? Too big to turn around, that's the problem. Do that. Okay, now I gotta do bale dive. Just roll over, hun. How am I gonna get over there now? That's too tall for me. Nah. That's the problem when you're short. I'll just move down the bale. But if there's stuff left, you could put it in the feeder.
Max, behave. Well, that was good. You try to push him out. Because uh, you have to watch the dogs. They'll nip at the sheep's heads or in their ears. Ben? <coughs> so the reason the lambs are all in little clusters is Arnie tossed a couple of pieces of alfalfa into the pen and all the lambs found them. barn is almost full now. We just got to fill up this white pen with the rest of the white ones left to go. There's not too many left now. How are you doing? Is that yummy? She's looking for is the leaves. That's why we don't lose too much hay out of the feeders because once they have their head in, they basically keep their head in because they don't want to share with anyone else, so they're going to stay right where they are. feeding this barn to keep them quiet because uh, there's a ewe we have to check into here that's lambing. It's been lambing for a while so we want to make sure everything's okay so we gotta go catch her. It's easier when these guys are all out of the way and occupied. that a clean one? Yeah. There she is. Arnie thought there might be a problem with her, so we're gonna check. So we gave her a little assistance. She was a first time mom, and as you can see, by the shoulders already, and the head on this fella. I think it's a fella, yeah, a fella. He, uh, just for a first timer, he, he just needed a little extra pull. So, that wasn't too bad, was it, Mom? But she's loving them and they're talking together now. So I got a jug set up for her. And uh, while she's busy, I'll just make sure she's got milk. First timers always have milk. Well, don't say always. Where is her nipples? Oh, there it is. There one, there we go. Can't check the other one because it's underneath. But he'll be fine. So we'll get her and her lamb set up in the jug now. Maybe we'll get his iodine and all that stuff. Oh, let's see his 
face. Oh, honey, you couldn't get any cuter. Oh, it was a bloody ordeal. <laughs> but she's from Ferdinand, who has no woolly face. So here's the procedure again. He's tubing at its first meal. Some people will disagree with this. And if we had a hobby farm, we probably wouldn't do it. But we don't have the time to sit and watch or help them get on the nipple or make sure that they do. So we just give them one dose of the colostrum and leave them. That way we don't have to worry. And uh, in the next little while, some will get up and nurse within minutes if the mom will let them. But when they're passing their placenta and stuff, sometimes, especially first timer, yeah, her nipples are really small. A really small nipple. I opened one, but the other one she was laying on. Well, do you want us to do you want to trim the wool off her? Oh, for sure. I'm a one. Yeah, I wouldn't do it now because uh, you know what? She's. What's that? Yeah. What's that? That's an, land. That's an interloper. Well, Frank. Give me the safety pin. Well, it's handy because it's right at her pen. We want to show people the glove. And the glove is not for the the safety of the animal, um, because even though you're entering in there and could be putting bacteria in there. All her placentas and fluids and stuff have yet to come out, so the likelihood of you putting something in that's going to stay in there is pretty small. But apparently, humans can get some pretty nasty stuff from the sheep. I got everything nasty already, then. That's right, and maybe maybe we could get rid of you that way. I wouldn't have to push you down the stairs. We could say, Arnie! Oh, your hands are clean, right? Do do well, so yeah, you this. you can get nasty stuff from the sheep apparently. Um, now this is a really clean birth, but sometimes you know you see those uh, where they've had uh, had a mummy lamb or the placenta is dirty or looking or whatever. Those sheep could be carrying something that you really don't want to be putting on your hands. I, her I would be shocked if she did too. She's probably trying to push her placenta out. I think she's on its leg. So it was, it was only one lamb. That's okay. She's a first timer. There he is. And one thing about this lamb and you. Is there the hundred and fifty to lamb? So he's one one fifty. You know, not like forty four. Who would have been the forty four? And the daddy would be Hamish. And we got a little lamb who thought he's really smart, getting into the feeder. And he's gonna show off there, show what he can do. He can chew on the bars in front of us and there's no way we can stop him. That's what he thinks. What are you doing? Oh. Yeah, she, she, she's got a really nice tight udder. That's the, the joy of being a first timer. Everything's still nice and tight, not saggy and loose. But, uh, because of that, uh, she, they still have their wool on, and uh, they're actually quite woolly right now. They've grown in quite well over the winter, so uh, because she has little small nipples and the wool could be there, sometimes a lamb will find a little wool tag and suck and suck and suck and wag its tail, and you'll think, oh, it's getting tons of milk. 
And the next day, there he is, uh, all limp and uh, has no milk because he's totally missed the teeth. Most lambs aren't that dozy, but it does happen. So, again, better to be safe than sorry, and this girl is obviously very tame. And uh, she's lit. and now you can see the nipple clearly, and he will have no problem finding it. Hey, sweetheart. Yes, you look lovely. And your mom's really nice. 43 acres. It was a pet one. Well, what do you think? That's probably fine. Huh? That's probably fine. Be careful in the armpit because sometimes you can get the skin there. Come on, buddy. Let's not fall in the drinker. And this one just had. <laughs> Who's staggering around here? He, this one just had a lot a few minutes ago, and he's like literally he's still wet. We tried to put the orphan lamb in there, but she didn't want it. Look at this guy's jumping already, but that's unusual for a Suffolk. No. Yeah. The, the other ones, I'm sure they're premature. Yeah. All the, the, well, those triplets had a mummy too, so. But this guy's bouncing. He was just born two minutes ago, Arnie. Yeah. Clever boy. Oh no, clever girl. Well, that's, that explains it. It's a girl. Well, I should do the other side, but you want to do it later on. So today was mostly uh, lambing and, of course, just keeping things going. This ewe, I still love her. She's my favorite nurser. Those two lambs both go under there and stand right under her belly. It's so, it's so cute. I, it just doesn't show up on the camera. Oh, Mom, we can't see how good you look. But anyway, she's doing good. This guy's doing good. Those two are doing good. Couldn't find a home for her. Uh, she's probably going to end up being an orphan. Nobody wants her. This guy is just born. He's nursing already. That's a good sign. I got her all trimmed up, up underneath uh, so that uh, she's really tame. So she let me just climb under her belly and get that all chopped off for him. It's kind of called crutching when you trim off around the other area. So she's nice and clean for him now. We got a whole bunch of ewes again in the pen ready to go over to her coveralls. This little wild girl that was born had the lamb the other day. She's ready to go into this pen next. And then uh, this girl had triplets. One was a mummy. One was really, really small and died yesterday. And this one wasn't doing very good for a while, but now is running around the pen. So it, this one should be fine. And uh, this little first time Dorset, she's got twin lambs under there and is doing good too, aren't ya? Yeah, and you got your bangs trimmed and everything. So this is the group off to the coverall next, probably in a few days. And everybody else is, uh, just waiting to lamb. They're all having dinner now. They all got clean straw. Um, like I say, we've had 150 lambs so far, so we're pretty well past the halfway mark now, just. And the uh, lambing's been going at basically, um, three to five lambs a day, which for us is good because it gives us time to breathe and make sure everybody's okay. When it goes crazy, uh, it's not so much fun.
Got a bunch of lambs up in the box over there. They're kind of hard to make out, but... They're, they're up there. I think there's three up there. That actually looks like a foot. Someone's got their foot hanging out. Oh, someone's waking up. It's getting dark in here, so my camera doesn't want to focus in the barn in the dark. But I'm going to order a new one. And we'll see what that does. So, my usual saying now is, that's probably it for the day. So... The wind is really blowing now. We've got a rainstorm coming in. So it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow and the breeze is up. Then we're going back into freezing again. So it's that time of year where it doesn't know what to do. But that's about it for our day. I'm off to do the usual, get dinner ready. So, uh, Thank you for watching today and hopefully you'll join us again tomorrow for another episode at Utopia Farms. Bye for now.